Hello everybody, this is Dr. Muhammad Faiz al -Bataina. I'm an Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering. Uh, today I'm going to be solving this double integral. Uh, it is a double integral from minus infinity to infinity with uh, of, a, of a sine tau multiplied by sine t minus tau divided by tau uh, multiplied by t minus tau d tau dt. Okay, so uh, try to think about how to solve this integral and uh, take your time uh, stop this video and we're going to be back in a little while after you um, uh, you're done trying okay Okay, so now to solve this integral, okay, what uh, what I'm going to do, I'm uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, uh, make use of the fact, okay, that the inner integral here looks like the convolution integral, okay, it's basically sine tau divided by tau, that's sine tau, and sine t minus tau divided by uh, t minus tau, and that's another sine uh, t minus tau. So the inner integral here is basically the convolution of uh, a sine t with another sin t okay and the outer integral okay so the, the convolution of sin t would see with, with sin t will give us another uh, continuous time function uh, let's call that x of t for example so the outer integral is going to be uh, the integration from minus infinity to infinity to um, of x of t dt and if we compare the outer integral with the Fourier transformation integral, uh, that's going to be uh, equal to x of uh, omega evaluated omega uh, equals zero. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain uh, in, a, in a little bit uh, the details of all that. Okay, so now to start, okay, I will start okay by the double integral here. Uh, I will call the integral i. Uh, which is equal to the integration from minus infinity to infinity, the integration from minus infinity to infinity to a sine uh, tau multiplied by sine uh, t minus tau divided by tau uh, multiplied by t minus tau uh, d tau dt. Now, if we compare, okay, the inner integral, I'll, and I'll highlight that with with uh, uh, with. Uh, a yellow color okay the out the inner integral here okay the inner integral is basically uh, uh, okay so I will highlight it I just highlighted it with a uh, yellow color this uh, integral here is equal is basically uh, equal to sink t convolved with another sink of t uh, where sink t sink t is basically sine t divided by t okay so that will uh, leave us with the outer integral the integration from minus infinity to infinity to a sink uh, t uh, convolved with sink t dt okay now i will call the inner uh, the the convolution of uh, the two sinks okay i will call that x of t i will assume that this is equal to another function which is equal to x of t so basically the integral uh, that we need to evaluate is is x of t uh, dt and if we compare this okay with the Fourier transformation integral then this is going to be equal to the integration from minus infinity to infinity to x of t multiplied by a negative complex exponential e to the power minus j omega t dt but evaluated at omega equals zero so because if we have omega here at this exponential this is going to be equal to one and we're going to be left uh, out with the integration from minus infinity to infinity x of t dt okay so basically what we have to do is that we have to evaluate x of zero x of omega and then evaluate uh, the x of omega at omega equals zero so, and to find x of omega then we need to evaluate the Fourier transformation of uh, sinc t uh, we're used to having uh, sync t in the frequency domain, so now we have it in the time domain, so that suggests that we have to use the uh, 
uh, duality property and to uh, use the duality pro property uh, okay we uh, start okay with rect okay with the fact that rect t over t capital uh, the Fourier transformation of that is equal to t uh, multiplied by sinc t omega over 2 so if you bring that to the time domain that's going to be equal to t sinc uh, t capital t small over 2 and the Fourier transformation of that using duality is equal to 2 pi uh, multiplied by rect. Uh, we have to replace t by minus omega over t. But since rect omega is uh, an even function, so, the, so we will uh, just remove the uh, negative sign here. Okay. And to uh, make this uh, a sink, uh, sink t, then we have to evaluate t equals 2 and then we have to multiply both sides by half okay so uh, that will leave us with sink t at this side here and uh, then we have to multiply by half so that will leave us with pi and then rect we have to evaluate omega over t t is equal to 2 so that's going to be 2 okay now uh, the integral is the convolution of two sinks. Okay, so sink uh, t if convolved with uh, sink t. The Fourier transformation of that is going to be uh, uh, equal to the multiplication of pi rect omega by 2 with itself. So that would give us pi squared uh, rect uh, squared omega over 2. But rect squared omega over 2 is equal to uh, rect uh, because the rect is uh, only 0 and 1 so if you square that it's gonna, it's gonna still uh, be 0 and 1 okay so uh, so this uh, side here is equal to x capital of omega okay so our integral i is equal to x of 0 and that's going to be equal to pi uh, squared so that's the uh, solution of the integral that's the value of the integral well thank you for watching if you like this content please hit like share this video and subscribe and don't forget to subscribe with the channel and if, uh, and uh, activate the bell sign okay so that you can uh, get uh, uh, the the new videos the newest videos as soon as possible well thank you for watching and see you in uh, another video